What's up, man? It's your big brother, K Reno. Look, this is what I want y'all to do. I want y'all to go listen to a song I have called The Struggle Made Me Great. And the subject I'm going to be on right now, I speak about that in a, um, in a line in that song. Probably the first verse. I can't remember. But um, what I'm talking about is over the years, man, anybody that's ever chased a dream, anybody that's ever had a dream or something they wanted to do, there's always somebody that will come along and say, well, man, that's good, but you need to have a plan B. You need to have uh, the world famous something to fall back on just in case this don't work. You know, you hear all those different sayings that come out of people's mouth. And a lot of times it comes out of people's mouth because they're concerned for you. They, you know, they, 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 they're worried for you because they may not see your vision the way you see it. They don't see it the way you see it. So they're looking at it as something like, you want to do what? You say, hold on, wait a minute. You say you want to be a what? And that's based on maybe how they traditionally were raised or how they came up and they kind of stuck to the straight and narrow and maybe have done it just nine to five, do it this way, play it safe. And they kind of are worried about you because if you're a family member, a loved one, they don't want to see you fall on your face. But when you have the confidence and the belief that you're going to accomplish what you're setting out to accomplish, then the the, the possibility of, of failing, at least I can speak for myself and our other people, it doesn't even cross your mind. You're like... What you mean? Something to fall back on. I don't have to fall. If I'm moving forward, I'm, there's no need for me to have to fall back. I don't need a, um, a safety net, uh, a, a mattress. I don't need none of that to fall on because I'm going to go forward with what I'm doing. Now, will there be some setbacks in my original plan? Yeah, you know, you're going you're gonna to hit some times where it's like, man, I messed that up. I got to start over. Or it's going to be some down times where it seems like, it's not working. It's like, oh, man, this ain't really working. But the person who has that focus and that belief, even in those times, stopping and quitting never enters their brain. It's just like, nah, okay, yeah, I, that was messed up. I, I dropped the ball on that one, but we're going to get up tomorrow and get right back on it, you know. So what do y'all think about the the plan b situation because my theory always is is um i look at it i always view it as the law of physics to where it says two things can occupy the same space at the same time so if i'm focusing on my intended goal but i gotta stop for six seven eight hours to go do this something that i really don't want to do and in the midst of doing that the thing that i don't want to do it takes not just time away from what I really want to do, but it also takes away energy. Because if I got to go do this job or do this thing, do this thing for all these hours, when I come back to what my real passion is, I may not even feel up to it. Or if I feel up to it, I may not be able to maximize my effort because I'm tired. Or... I know I got to get right back up and go back to this other place. So now I'm giving more of a commitment to the plan B than I am to the original goal of mine. So that's just my take on it. Some people like to play it safe. Some people just say, well, you know, it, it doesn't have to take somebody else to tell them. They do it on their own. It's like, well, yeah, I'm, I'm going to still do what I do, but... You know, I got to make sure, man, I still got these bills now. And I understand that. I understand that part. I said, look, because some, sometimes your um, your first goal, your first dream, it takes a while to, to come to pass. So it may not be paying the bills right away. And there are things you have to do. I get that. I ain't knocking that. But I just say mash the gas and accelerate a little harder in your original goal to try to eliminate that situation because um i just don't believe and, and 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 i can't say every situation is different there are people who have managed to hey man i work two jobs and i still got this i mean you know there, there are exceptions in every case but um i just really really think that fear hinders a lot of us and it's and it restricts us it restricts us from 
going full blast after what it is we say we want. You know, you have you have actors who um, they want it so bad they'll just move to L.A. or something and they'll uh, sleep on the streets, sleep in a car, whatever they got to do to um, be in position, to put themselves in position. You know, nobody really, really made any impact in any field of life by playing it safe. Playing it safe, man. Being scared to take that big step. Having moments that are what we call pivotal moments. There are moments in your life where you know you are in a moment that could be life-changing and you got an opportunity to, to make a move, but then you say, nah, I ain't gonna do it. And that sits with you forever. It bothers you because it's some, sometimes we know internally like, that was my chance, that was my moment. And you only get a few. You only get a few big chances and big moments to make that 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 big move, man. And if you pass those up, then I just believe that at some point, you know, you stop getting them. They stop coming. So what do y'all think, man? Is it good to play the fall back on game, something to fall back on? Uh, I won't say game, but have that philosophy. Or is it good to just go full throttle on what you believe and any setbacks, any risks that come along with it, you just man up or woman up and you ready to take that. Let me know what y'all think in the comments, man. It's your big brother, K. Reno. Uh, I'll hit y'all with another one. Tune in to K. Reno Radio tonight at uh, 9 p.m. kpft.org. We'll be dropping some news that we hope y'all can use, man. All right, it's your big brother, K. Reno. Peace.